Let's talk about everything to know about Netflix's things heard and seen. The idyllic Hudson Valley, ghosts, and murders? Things heard and seen, Amanda Seyfried's latest Netflix thriller, is a long way from the ABBA-tinged Greek Isles, but it's sure to pique everyone's interest in true crime, even though it's not based on any actual events. The film, which combines a murder mystery with horror, could be the ideal blend of suspense and trouble in paradise for anyone looking for a film that doesn't feature Seyfried singing, no offense to Les Miserables and Mamma Mia. What is things heard and seen about? The film is based on Elizabeth Brundage's book All Things Stop Appearing in 2016. As an artist and her husband, Seyfried and James Norton move from Manhattan to the Hudson Valley. Because things are not as perfect as they seem, their veneers are fractured by the house and the relationship. The official description of Netflix goes as follows. An artist moves to the Hudson Valley, suspecting his marriage to have a sinister darkness, one that rivals the history of his new home. Netflix, regular Natalia Dyer is in the film along with Norton, in Little Women in 2019, and Seyfried, who finds roles not involving Nancy Wheeler and Stranger Things. Heard and Seen also stars National Lampoon legend Karen Allen, F. Murray Abraham at the Grand Budapest Hotel in Wes Anderson, Better Calls Saul and Rhea Seahorn in Veep and Jack Gore. The film's writers and directors Robert Pulcini and Sherry Springer Berman, who are also married, told EU not to expect a straightforward flick of horror. Springer Berman said, Marriage is one of the most fearsome things in the world. It can be incredibly beautiful, and both at the same time it can be incredibly fearful and scary. I'd like people to see a film and be caught up in the drama, the fears and the ties. But they'll also come to think about some of the bigger issues about karma, the nature of life and death, she added. As a woman, as a female director, I was also very interested in the idea of a woman finding her voice and struggling to find her voice in a marriage and in the world.